Toy Trash. Hello everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Thrift Store Toy Trash, where I got various thrift store toys off to the side of the camera, and I will be showing them here in this glorious little gray space of ours. Now, what I decided to do for today's episode at least, I'm going to randomly reach in my big old box of thrift store toy trash I've gotten in the past few weeks, and I will just be randomly talking about it. I will be completely caught off guard with whatever I pull out of the box, and the first thing I have pulled out is a, uh, oh, oh geez, why'd it have to be this? Uh, uh, it's, it's an ROTF Deluxe Wheelie. Do you remember Wheelie from Revenge of the Fallen, the guy that humped Megan Fox's leg? He actually appeared in the last night, too. They actually brought him back. I don't know why they brought him back. Yeah, he's missing a leg, but honestly, I don't care. I just kind of wanted it for my collection, since it's, it's Wheelie. He's a little bit of a meme, isn't that right? You know, he can be sad. He can be really angry. He can be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. give me some of that, uh... I don't know. There's there's Wheelie. Uh, so here we have uh, Max Steel. Look at this. It's freaking Max Steel. Didn't they make a movie of this? Like an actual cinematic movie of Max Steel. I, I heard nothing about it. Was it good? Look, you press this button and... Uh, wow, interesting. And here we have... Uh, not the good Avatar. We have the, the James Cameron Avatar. Look, it looks like it's still in like, the packaging. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I guess this is like still the packaging of it. Um, I, I think this is the main character. He's really translucent blue. I don't know how this fires. Do you pull it back? Do you just shoot? Oh, crap. Oh, look. Wait, wait, let's see. Oh! Next up in the box we have... Ooh, this is really cool. I know I have some Bionicle fans on the Chanel. And this is one of those, uh... One of those Bionicle guys. I don't remember what series this is from. I had plenty of these growing up. He has a light-up sword. I loved those light-up swords growing up. Um, I think I actually had the proper toy of this guy when I was a kid, too. It's it's all in pieces now, but... Hey, that's pretty cool. If you know who that is, let me know. I have way more of those. I should probably get them out from, like, my basement boxes. Right here we have a Duplo brick. Well, it's, it's not Duplo. See, look, it's, uh... Mega Blocks! We have... Is this supposed to be... It's just hollow. You, you can't... can't see anything. Oh, look, but you can... You can spy. Look, you can spy on uh, Squidward back there. You can spy on... Oh, look, it's Motorcycle Man. We all love him from his uh, own feature movie called The Motorcycle Man 2, Re Revenge of the Motorcycle Man. Um, well, what would the villain name be? Like, Dr. Tricycle, I guess? I, I think this is actually uh, an Action Man. See that right there? I think this is Action Man. Action Man, because... G.I. Joe, real American hero, doesn't work in the UK. Next up, we have... Whoa, this, this is actually one of the really cool things. Look, it's the Rescue Bots Bumblebee thrift store. Look, transforms. And look, kapow! Look, look at that, that's cool. I like a bumblebee, I'll take that. He can go... Okay, let's, let's make piles. Let's make piles of trash I don't care about. So, I'm sorry, Action Man. And let's make a pile of stuff I do care about. So I care about Bumblebee and all of those. What pile will this go in? Oh, this is going to go in the pile of stuff I care about. Oh my god, this was probably one of the better ones in this. It's one of these Mattel Killer Crocs. Um, I don't remember what line this is from specifically, but as you can see, this figure is really nice. The lab coat's pretty dinged up, but other than that, like he's got his tail, he's got all of his limbs, he's not really terribly worn besides his uh, thing. You can open his jaw. Yeah, that's it's totally cool. I love Killer Croc. He's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite Batman villains. And thank you, random citizen. It's Metro Man from Mega Mind. Whoa, look at him. He's so cool and fun and quirky. I, I actually really like Mega Mind though. So um, he goes in the pile of stuff I care about. I really need to rewatch Mega Mind. I'm really worried. I, I'm gonna rewatch it. I'm going to rewatch it, and Will Ferrell and his stupid blue face, I'm not going to like it anymore, because I really liked it as a kid. So next up we have, oh no, oh no, it's Lightning McQueen. As you can see, it's in terrible shape. Look at this. This was really played with, and on top of that, let, let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at that mouth first. Look at that mouth. He's going to be licking something tonight, I don't know what, but... <sighs> he has no eyes. They bothered to sculpt and paint the mouth, but the eyes were just a sticker. Okay, okay. Is the Rusty's... Yeah, Rusty's is just a sticker. All this is just stickers. I mean, the blue is paint. Why didn't they paint the eye... Get out of here. Oh, it's... God damn it, another Cars thing. 
Uh, this is... I don't know who this is supposed to be. It's one of the Lego cars. He's miserably incomplete, but, uh, hey, it's some Lego pieces. Like, I, I could use those if I ever actually decide to get back into Lego. Next up, we have one of the coolest things I've found at the thrift store. It's Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. It is the Age of Extinction Voyager class figure, and I love this figure to death. I have the original Evasion Mode, I have the 2-pack with the Classics Optimus, and I have the Weijiang Commander, but there's a catch with this one. He hasn't got any legs! I really like this head sculpt, though. That's such a great face plateless Optimus Prime face. Hey, it's, if anything ever happens to the upper body of my Optimus, I guess I'll have a spare. So that, that can go on the side of stuff I actually care about. Next up, we have... <gasps> it's Barricade! It's Little Robot Hero's Barricade. Um, unfortunately, he's missing a finger. He doesn't have a finger. I don't, I don't know what happened to it, but... Yeah, it's Barricade! Um, I'm, I'm actually really wanting to get into Robot Heroes. I, I want way too many of these things. Next stop! Did it take it away? Oh, look, it's... Oh, my God. I, I, I did not look at this before. How's a man gonna get in there if there's no seat? Raphael, then. Yeah. Remember this movie? I don't think anyone does. I don't think anyone remembers this movie. Do you remember this movie? I've never seen this movie. I don't really remember it. A little bit of a recap before we move on. We got some pretty spicy Transformers stuff over there. A nice Killer Croc and a, and a Metro Man and Bionicle Dude. And over here we have just uh, Lightning McQueen, uh, Action Man, and tons of other trash. So let's see what's next. Um, oh, look, it's another Transformer thing. It's the Transformers Prime uh, Megatron McDonald's toy. I actually already have this, so I guess I have two of it now. It'll probably just go in my Transformers storage along with the Evasion Mode Optimus. This is more of a modern thing for kids. It's like pound puppies. It's like ridiculously popular with little kids. Barricade! Oh, Megatron, what are you doing here? I have a mission for you. What is it, Megatron? Tell me. You can tell me. You can trust me. I need you, Barricade, to get Optimus Prime without legs! No! Please, Megatron, have mercy. I have no legs. Okay, I'm done with this. Yeah, Megatron. Look, it's Megatron. I don't know what this is. Please tell me if you know. Oh, look, it's Easter Bunny! Mojo Jojo. Look at this. It's Mojo Jojo from the Power Girls Puff. Oh, man, I missed that show. Didn't they reboot it? I wonder how they reboot... Oh, no. Oh no, man, that's no good. I still like you. I fought. Waffy. I fought. I prefer Waffy. Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday. Crucian Tuesday. I don't remember how that goes. Jeez, it's been so long since I played Arkham City. You guys remember how Sol. <coughs> hey, uh, do you have any sugar I could borrow? <coughs> hey, look, it's another childhood property of mine that's gone to complete shit. Whoa, it's Spongebob! Uh, Spider-Man head! Little clip-on missile thing, don't know what it goes to, looks really cheap, can I break it? Oh god, Angry Birds, I ain't doing this again! You guys remember the Z-Bots? They're really cool. They're really cool. These things are really cool. They're little cool little robot guys. I like them. Little, little Z-Bot guy. It looks like he's missing his bat, like he had a giant club. He looks like a baseball player, he's neat, I like him. He goes on the good side. This is just devolving into trash. Like, what is this? This looks like some sort of armor, maybe to a Batman or something. Oh, it's got a little... You, you know what that is? Because I don't. Man, I don't I don't even know. That's not really worth my time. Hey, guys, you remember that part of Spider-Man Homecoming where Spider-Man welded his arms together and used him as a giant launcher to defeat the Vulture? Because I totally love that scene. That's probably the best scene in the whole movie. Tom Holland did a really good job playing Spider-Man. I really agree. I really love that scene! Look, it's Robin. It's a little Robin. Which one is this? Is this Dick? Is this Tim? Is this Damian? <gasps> is it Jason? I just want to show this last little bundle of important stuff that's worthwhile. Because all the rest of the box is just trash. So we got we got a little hex bug thing with these hex bugs. Okay. Um we got I don't know what this is from. Please tell me. It's a little it's a little boy. It's a little boy in a suit. He comes out. Is is this from Captain Planet? Is this from Magic School Bus? Please tell me. I really want to know. It's my favorite thing. No, was it Eco Squad? I don't think it was Exo Force. I think it was Eco Squad. Exo Force was G.I. Joe. I don't remember this guy's name. I looked it up a while ago when I first got the bag, but. Ah, uh, cool one. It sure isn't. We got this thing that kind of looks like Reptar. I don't know if it is. Please tell me. Is, it, is this supposed to be Reptar? We got this uh, loincloth. 
If you know what action figure this goes to, let me know. And we got One Step Lockdown. Remember Lockdown from Age of Extinction, the actual good villain in one of the Transformers movies? I know, really rare, right? Yeah, he's a... Uh, what, he goes down, he's a car, and he's a robot. Man, th this is a really bad example of a One Step Transformer. Th this is, like, literally one of the worst ones. Look at this one. Th look at the Bumblebee. Look at that. This. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. Let's take a look at what's in the box, shall we? We have a turtle. We have a paper. We have a plunger thing. We have Frankenstein head. We have a disc for the kids for parks. We got a um, little accessory thing. We got um, we got some other good goodies in here. Just wait and see. Uh, oh, we got this gun, man. Look at that gun. And oh, don't don't forget the frog. Don't forget that. Well, here you go, guys. Here's my haul of anything I consider to be mildly worthwhile. Um, some pretty interesting stuff in here. I mean, I got some pretty neat Transformers. I like Metro Man. It's my first Mega Man thing. I like the little robot heroes and the Z-Bot. Yeah, pretty successful little haul here. I got some neat, neato little things in this. Um, hope you enjoy. First episode of Thrift Store Toy Trash. Uh, so... Each day, each time I'm going to do this, it's going to be slightly different. Like this time I did the blind stuff where I just pulled it in. Maybe next time I'll just sift through the box. Or maybe next time I'll open the bags and I'll just see it for the first time. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. My thrift store supplies a lot of good trash. But then again, it supplies a lot of good treasure as well. Like you see that, that boy over there? That cute little boy? That boy, that's my favorite thing I've gotten at this. I wonder if he'll ever get beat. I wonder if uh, me finding Hot Rod will no longer be the best thing I found at the thrift store. We'll have to wait and see as Thrift Store Toy Trash continues in part two whenever I get more thrift store trash.